Take it easy, old timer. Oh. Take it easy. Oh, hey. I got the bushwhacker. Hey. Oh. Why did he shoot you? He. He was after this. Santa Fe bound. Yes, that's where I'm headed. Give it. Give it to Molly. Molly. Molly who? Molly. Molly, uh... Hardly fair to bury a white man and a skunk side by side.
Okay, gents. I'm looking for the Circle J Ranch. Wait a minute. Hey, one shot. There's another pilgrim asking about the Circle J. So you're looking for the Circle J Ranch, huh? Why, yes, I... See that road? Well, you take it pronto. I see. I'm being politely kicked out of town. Is that right? You guessed it. And suppose I don't aim to do it. I think that'd be poor judgment. Say, you don't catch cold easy, do you, stranger? Why? Did you see those two hombres going down the road? Yeah. Well, you're leaving to your underwear just the same as they did. They argued themselves in it the same as you've done. Another gent wants to leave town in his underwear. Take care of them, boys. It's all ours, one shot. Hey, wait a minute. Your name's One Shot, eh? Yeah, that's me, One Shot Morgan, and I never miss. I've heard a lot about you. They tell me you're the best shot in the state. You heard the truth, young fella. I got a proposition to make to you before you kick me out of town in my underwear. Yeah? What is it? I'll give you a chance to make some easy money. I'm a pretty good shot myself. Well, what's on your mind? I'll bet you $100 I can plant six holes closer to the center of that letter O up there. Again. <laughs> That's a good idea. Because when I take your pants off, you won't have any place to put your money anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Here's my money. Tell you what I'll do. Spill it. If I win, I'll keep my money in my pants and keep it going to Circle J Ranch. And if I lose... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Fella, you're practically out of town right now without your pants or money. All right, you shoot first. Think you can beat that? Pretty good shooting, I'd call it. Well, it's your turn now. Huh? Suppose you take off one shot Morgan's and give him a dose of his own medicine. Come on. Take <laughs> 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 hey, put him in the barrel. That manly form of his is nothing for young ladies to look at. Come on, put him in the barrel. Here he Hey, Morgan, you don't catch cold easily, do you? <laughs> I'll get even with you for this. Fair enough. When you get dried out, look me up. We'll have another shooting match. <laughs> I don't know who you are, but you deserve a vote of thanks for putting that bully in his place. Uh, Tom Crenshaw's the name, miss. I'm sorry I, I caused a little embarrassment. Do you interrupt me? I'm looking for the Circle J Ranch. Why, that's my father's ranch. Are you here in answer to our advertisement? I reckon so. Uh, good morning, Miss Bates. Uh, how are you, Mr. Stanton? That was a neat trick that you played on Morgan. I enjoyed it. <laughs> Nothing worth mentioning. Are you figuring on remaining in town? I'm hoping Mr. Crenshaw will go to work for us. When do I go on the payroll? Consider yourself hired right now. Well, that's fine. You need help badly. We certainly do. I was hoping more applicants would show up in answer to our ad. Oh, well, there were two other men. Morgan ran them out of town just before he tackled me. Oh, that's what he's done with everyone who ever came to work for us. Well, now let's hope that this will break Morgan's hold on the town. 
Thanks to you, Mr. Uh, Tom Crenshaw. I'm glad to know you. My name's Stanton. Glad to know you. Well, I got to be running along. I'll drop out the ranch in a day or so. Goodbye. Goodbye. Well, I, I'm going to leave right now. Mr. Badman, it looks as though the stranger got the best of you. I'll get him yet. <laughs> yes, you will. You better glue your pants on the next time you meet him. Logan, you ride out to the Bates place and keep your eyes open. See if you can get a line on the stranger. The rest of you fellows lay low for a while, and I'll figure out the next move when we get a line on him. All right, deal me in on this one. You got any money? Certainly. Well, get it on the table, boy. So there has been no let up in your trouble connected with the ranch? No, it's been going from bad to worse. Seems as if someone was deliberately trying to make us give up the ranch. More than likely, Morgan is in back of it. No, I think he's just a big bully, acting as a tool for someone else. Well, how about Stanton? Oh, he's our only friend. Only last week, he arranged to get us a loan from the bank to tie us over. Oh, Bridget, this is Mr. Tom Crenshaw, our new foreman, cowhand, and horse wrangler. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Tom. Here's when you won't get scared off like all the rest of the men have. Well, that's an experience had yet. Good for you. Sure, and that's the spirit. I'd better finish getting dinner ready. You people must be starved. <laughs> <laughs> well, now that I'm actually hired, I ought to know. Molly Bates. Why? Is there anything wrong with my name? Oh, oh, oh no, I... Oh, I... Uh, I used to know a girl named Molly. Oh, uh, uh, do you run this ranch, Holden? Oh, yes, Dad and I. I'm anxious to meet him. Where is he? He went to the county seat to get the loan Mr. Stanton arranged for. But he should have been back yesterday. More than likely, he's taking his time on the way back since he has the money. Well, I better get my stuff in the bunkhouse. Oh, right over there. Be sure and listen for the dinner bell. I like me boarders to be prompt. She <laughs> certainly does. See you at dinner. Right. Now, that's a real man. How would you know? I got a hunch. I'm always right when I got one. This is about the prettiest layout I've seen, Miss Molly. I wouldn't blame anyone for wanting to get hold of it. 
Someone is doing everything in his power to scare us out. It wouldn't be so difficult if they'd only come out in the open instead of striking at us in the dark. Don't worry. Whoever they are, they'll make a wrong move. And when they do, we'll have a showdown. Thanks, Tom. I know I can trust you. Oh, I wish Dad was back. I know you two will get along fine together. Let's hurry back to the house. Maybe he's there now. Is anything wrong? Molly, do you recognize this wallet? Oh, yes. It's Dad's. Where did you get it? Where is he? That's what we'd like to know. But where did you get this? We found it under a mattress in the bunkhouse where Mr. Crenshaw hid it. Perhaps he can tell you what became of your father and where the money is that was in the wallet. Please tell me, where is my father? I'd like to speak to you alone. You can do all your talking in front of a judge. Take care of him, Sheriff. You're under arrest on suspicion of murder. You're making a big mistake. This time, you'd better come peacefully. There goes a good man. to think it was me clumsiness that kept him from making Who good for him? Yeah, wish I had my way about it. going to take him to the county seat? Take him the first thing in the morning. Well, the reason I ask is that uh, the townspeople might get a little rough. Dad Bates was well liked and they might get a little hectic over his killer. You think they might attempt a jail delivery? Well, they might. Well, in that case, we'll take him over tonight. It's a good idea. I'd hate to see him cheat the law. I'd just like to lay my hands on that bushwhacker for about five minutes. Yeah. We ought to make an example of him. Law or no law. I'm telling you men we ought to do something about that fella. If we don't, some shyster lawyers will. Oh. coming down the street. What are we going to do about it? 
We'll do the best we know how. There's no use, Sheriff, getting all messed up over a rattlesnake like Crenshaw. You better give your prisoner over peacefully. We're too many for you. You haven't got a chance. I'm doing my duty as I see it, boys. And the first man that tries to go in, I'll plug. All right, boys. Get the prisoner. Come on. Get him on his horse. It's about to finish for you. Well, I'm glad we got here. See, you've healed yourself with a pretty hefty rope. What do you fellas want? We're aiming to string up this white-livered coyote and save you the trouble. You're welcome to it. And be sure and do a good job of it. Think you can do that? Leave it to me. It'll be a pleasure after the ducking he gave me. Come on, get off. Yeah. Take off the handcuffs. Why didn't you tell me you was Tex French? Just playing safe for the time being. You took quite a long chance, didn't you, son, playing safe? That's my business, taking chances. Why didn't you bring me the money that you found in Bates's wallet? Well, I had to make sure first that you were the right party. Maybe you did do the proper thing. Tell you what you do. You stay here for a couple of days, and by that time the sheriff will go back to the county seat. And I think my protection will take care of you. Take him upstairs and show him the room. And give him an extra set of guns of mine. I don't like the looks of that fella. He's gonna make trouble for us. I can just feel it in my bones. Go on, you're still sore about the ducking he gave you? Give me the $5,000 which you steal from Senor Bates. What are you talking about? What $5,000? You know you got in the safe. Quick, give me that money. Okay. Now, 
Now, senor, you turn your back and give me the money to the window. Quick, give me the money to the window. Turn you back, I say. Just been robbed. I was just robbed of that five thousand dollars. Did you recognize him? No, but he talked like a Mexican. Scatter and find him. He can't be far. Anything of him? No. Let's go back to rank. When you're going to bed. It's off ten o'clock. Oh, I didn't realize it was that late. Good night. I'm afraid the guy made a clean getaway. I couldn't see him anywhere. Say, did you see Tom Crenshaw? He rode out with the rest of you fellas. It's funny he ain't got back yet. Anybody catch up with the bandit? No. Sure was hoping we'd catch him. You know, I got some of that five grand coming to me. He promised I'd get 20%. Don't worry about that. The important thing is to find out who got wise that I had $5,000. That's your own lookout. All I want what makes to me. No, old man Bates. Well, for land's sake, Mr. Tom. Uh, please, uh, can I see Miss Molly? Sure, come right in. Come right in. Oh, Molly. Coming. Why, Tom, how did you get away? You mean from the mob? Yes, I heard they'd taken you from the jail, and then I received the money in the note. <laughs> and I suppose you was my ghost that threw the package through the window. I'll explain that later. What I want to know is, do you believe what I wrote in that note? Yes, somehow I... I never could believe you were really guilty. And Good. Then... Not together. Uh, your father was shot in cold blood. I got the man who did it. And I had to bury your father. 
I've got proof Stanton's behind it. But before I make a move against him, I've got to find the identity of a man whose name begins with a letter D. Do you know of any? No, I don't. For land's sake, who can that be? It's that smooth eel Stanton himself. I never did like him. I've got to hide. In the kitchen. Play after him whatever he's after, but don't let him suspect you know anything. How are you, Molly? And you, Bridget? Fine, thank you. Oh. Molly, I came to pay you a social call and offer my help if you needed any. Oh, that's awfully kind of you, Mr. Stanton. And I certainly appreciate it. Oh, won't you sit down? Thanks. You're all alone now, and you need someone to help you fight these secret enemies of yours. Oh, that's true. I don't know just what to do. Oh, I'm so discouraged, I'm about ready to quit. Molly, this... This may be a little abrupt, but I love you. And I want you to marry me. I can give you everything, and all your troubles about money matters will be at an end. You certainly need someone to look after your affairs, and as your husband, I could take all your troubles on my shoulders. Won't you let me do this for you, Molly? You've been very kind to us, Mr. Stanton. And I'm very grateful, but marrying is quite a serious step for a girl, and, and I'd like a little time to think it over. Do you mind? Why, of course, certainly. I, I nuttered that you should consider the offer at all. Then uh, it'll be all right if I call in a day or so for my answer? Oh, yes, by all means. Thanks. Goodbye. Goodbye. Well, did I do all right? Perfectly. Couldn't be better. You know, it isn't every day a girl gets a proposal from the biggest man in town. Oh, I don't know about that. I might have something to say on that subject myself once I, I get around to it. Well, I, I guess I'd better get back to the ranch before Stanton suspects anything. About an hour. Come in the house. Did Tex French do the job for you all right? He certainly did without a hitch, but... Uh, what, what? You know somebody stole that $5,000 from me? No. Yeah. And I can't for the life of me figure who outsmarted me. How'd it happen? And if I get hold of that Mexican, it's gonna be curtains for him. Has Tex French any idea who the man might be? You know, he's pretty good at unraveling things like that. Well, if he has, he certainly hasn't told them to me. There he is now. Well, who's he? Well, that's Tex French. Tex French? Huh. Well, that's no more Tex French than I'm you. Somebody's putting a fast one over on you. Are you sure? Sure as you're born. Now I know who that mysterious Mexican was. Wait a minute. Hello. 
I got a little surprise for you, Tex. Meet Mr. Denton. Now, don't bluff with me anymore. You're the more Tex French than I am. Now, what's your game? Well, what would you like to know? First, tell me what you've done with Tex, and then tell me what you've done with the $5,000. You're wounded. Just creased. Stanton's gang are after me. Never mind who's after you. Let's get you fixed up first. I'll get you some. I know that Stanton and Denton planned your father's death. But as long as they rule Santa Fe, we haven't a chance to prove it. We've got to get the law-abiding citizens of the town together and form a vigilante committee. You run and meet that Stanton snake and tell him Tom ain't within a thousand miles of here. Get in here and not a word back. I'm sorry to bother you, Molly, but the fellow that killed your father got away from us, and my men trailed him here. You mean Tom Crenshaw escaped? Yeah, did you see him? I know, I haven't. You don't suppose he could have slipped into the house without you seeing him? No. Well, it should be terrible if he would be here. Yeah, if he is, we'll find him. You look in there, and I'll try the kitchen. Hope you ain't looking for dinner. I didn't get orders to cook extra meals. I'm not looking for dinner, miss. I'm looking for a killer. Well, the only killer you'll find in here is myself. I kill chickens and turkeys and rabbits, and sometimes I kill skunks. You better look out for yourself. Find anything? Not a thing.
If he shows up, Molly, you'll let us know. I certainly will. It was a close call, thanks to Bridget. You ride back and watch the place. If he shows up, we'll be at the head of the Santa Fe Road. and see Tibbets. I know I can trust him and get him to call a meeting among citizens. I guess the jig is up. We'll have to work together in the open. Oh, yes, Tom, and I'm glad of it. What do you think of that dirty scoundrel? I wish Miss Stick had been made of iron. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get my hat and we'll ride together. Here he comes. Tom Crenshaw's at Molly's ranch. I saw them together on the porch. He is? I thought so. We'll go back. I better get me a gun in case that eel comes back with his men. Leave them off and lose them, and I'll meet you at the crossing. All right.
That fellow must be crazy. Wasting our time here, let's get back to the ranch. Why, well, you ornery man killer? I thought they'd strung you up. It's ache, Mr. Tibbetts. Tom Crenshaw didn't kill my dad. Well, if he didn't, who did? A fellow named Tex French. He was Anton and Denton to do it. Stanton? Uh, yes, and there's no doubt of it. Well, if that's the truth, it's time for action. That's why we're here. I've now got absolute proof that Stanton and Denton plotted together against Molly's father. But I need your help to bring about a showdown. What's your plan? To organize all the law-abiding men into a vigilante committee and make an end once and for all of Stanton's power. We've needed something like that for a long time. All we lacked was a leader. I'll only be too glad if you men will follow. You're on. Come inside and we'll do some telephoning. I know a lot of ranchers who are aching to sink Stanton. We'll get organized pronto. And I want to know if I can count on you. Please. All right, uh, Tibbets. I'll have Joe and Bert come along with us and we'll meet you at Hark's Grove. All right, Tibbets. You can count on us. We'll be there. All right. We'll be looking for you. Goodbye. Here the men come, Tom. to Stanton's ranch. Crenshaw is leading Tibbets and a bunch of ranchers this way. They're armed to the teeth. Get the boys. What do you want? We want you and Denton for shooting that bait. Try and take us. I'm warning you. If you don't submit peacefully, we'll have to use force.
All right. To pay at last. Well, boys, we've got the good job. Long and turn them over to the law. And what are you going to do, Tom? Well, I'm the drifting kind. I always like to know what's over the next hill. Well, I hope you'll find it. I think I have. Where? Right here. <laughs> 